At Jonah underscore Bamhart asks, could we see a Darth Vader spin-off film? Finally seeing Vader be the greatest Jedi assassin we were all we were always told he was. Christian? Um, if it's is it possible, maybe in a long time from now. Um, I think that they're gonna focus because the prequels were his story as much as if you hated him or or liked him ish. Um, <laughs> they uh, they were his story. You're gonna see him, you're gonna see he's gonna pop up in Rebels. He's going to pop up in some of the novels that are coming out as well. He already did pop up in, in, in the first Rebels. They added a scene of him. Um, and he's going to pop up in the video games and the comics and stuff of that. And then if there's a spin-off movie like that takes place in between episodes three and four, I think he'll pop up there as well. Um, but a full spin-off movie, I don't think it's time for that now, but possible in the long run. I just, I just keep picturing Darth Vader like, Popping up into the because yeah, right. <laughs> he's gonna <laughs> pop up here. And yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I would love to see it because I've always found him to be one of the most fascinating villains in all of cinema. And you're right, you know, there, the, the first, well, the, the first three in the episodes, but the, the, the newer trilogy, prequels, the prequels were not satisfying for me. So I would love to see the, the story reimagined by a different director and a, under a different set of circumstances, but I think you're probably right. I think they have their, it's almost like Marvel or, or Warner yeah, Brothers absolutely. with DC, where they like, they have their slate, they're figuring it out, and I don't know if there's a lot of space for Vader in that slate. Sorry, but they're also doing, what they're doing differently, what Marvel has done in their, with their television universe and their film universe, mm -hmm. with this combined universe, is, was very different. What mm -hmm. Star Wars is doing in total long form storytelling is fascinating. They're doing everything with everything that comes out now with novels, video games, comic books. It all is canon and part of storyline. So whatever you see of Vader in anything, it all is part of his storyline. There's a book coming out, a novel, Lords of the Sith, which comes out next, I think like March or so, and it's all about the Emperor and Darth Vader getting off this planet together. It's like they have to battle their way out. And that to me is fascinating. Mm -hmm. I'll be reading that. So there's a lot of cool stuff with Vader coming out. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a spinoff coming just because of the nature of the character. Because if you do do a spinoff movie, then you need to create some sort of hero to be the antagonist for right. Vader. And yeah. I don't know how that exactly is going to work. All right, what's next? Alexander Burton asks, who are some actors and actresses that you think should have a bigger presence in Hollywood? For mm. me, it's Anna Kendrick and Ben Foster. Mm. Mary? I like Anna Kendrick. I think that's a nice call. Um, oh, man, this is a tough question. Come back to me. Christian, you go first. I was <laughs> think about it. I always, th every time I hear this, I always say Rachel McAdams because she was yeah, on this, great. she was on this like meteoric rise, and then she just kind of disappeared. She pops up, and it pops up again. She, <laughs> she, she, you see her and stuff, but she didn't ever had that. I remember people were saying that she's gonna be like the next Julia Roberts, and, and she never had that effect. And I think she's very talented. Uh, yeah. I have it. Who you got? Kyle Chandler. Oh, I love he's him. great. I love him, and I think he should be oh, in more yeah. stuff. Yeah, and he's Coach been, Taylor. Yeah, he's been in a lot of stuff, but you know, you but mean, as always, far as the superstar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wolf of I mean, Wall Street, he's on yeah. the side. Yeah, he's, right, he's, right. he always plays wonderful supporting. He's a really true character actor. Whiplash too. But I actually, I, uh, I think he would be great. Spectacular now. Sorry. I think he would be great. Just, I just want to see more of him. Um, I know he's old now, but I love Harry Dean Stanton, and I, you know, I want to see him more. I just. There are so many actors that are wonderful, which mm -hmm. is just goes to show you like what a lottery it is, mm -hmm. and how even when you're at the top in five years you could be nobody yeah. again. So it's such a tricky like the Hollywood game is so fierce. It yeah. is. It is. What Emily Blunt is one as well. Yeah, she, she's she's, she's out there and people yeah. are aware of her, um, but she hasn't had that one role yet that has just made you know, her she, superstar. She was great in Edge of Tomorrow. She was great in Looper, um, but she hasn't. She's she could be leading her own movies, and she's got that kind of star power. And she's beautiful, which yeah. doesn't hurt. I mean, <laughs> I, I would have. I said this name before, but Sam Rockwell. Yeah. He's a person that's just super talented, charismatic, and I think he could, you know, carry a film. It's mm -hmm. just more of getting the right role mm -hmm. for, yeah. for him. And there's a bunch of others. There's. I would have said Michael Keaton, but Birdman is like, wow, he's yeah. back. Yeah. Our generation. I, so. I mean, yeah. I know a lot of people look at me and. Think Michael Keaton, you're crazy. But when they see Birdman, they're gonna oh yeah change, change, change their mind. Everyone's He's talking amazing. about him now. Yeah, for sure. Oscar nom for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, one more. At seven, R U C zero asks, any new update about Josh Trank's Chronicle Two? I want to see the origin and not another take on the same things. 
I haven't heard anything of you guys. No, we actually had a question similar to this, I think, a couple of months ago. And uh, there's been no news that I've read other than there's been a debate about whether it's going to be a continuation of the first yeah, film or well, a I reboot. I, I don't know. And the last I heard is Max Landis isn't even involved in it. Yeah. Just, no, thank yeah. you. And and Trank's going to be too busy, man. He's yeah. got Fantastic Four. Yeah. Fantastic Four, the Star Wars spinoff. Yeah. And then he's going to. And then he, and I know that Godzilla comes out in like 75 years from now, Godzilla 2. Yeah, but, but it's, it's going to be busy be doing crap. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff. Sure. So I don't think. I, I'd love to see it. And I'd like Max Landis to come back, um, but I don't think it's going to happen. And if they do, yeah, I, I would rather see it as a continuation yeah. than a reboot yeah. or an yeah. alternate storyline, like whatever turn those kids maybe is found somewhere else. Right. But they ended it with, like, right. it's basically the ending of Chronicle is opening to a sequel, yeah. Yeah. so it would be a shame to miss that opportunity. And I would love to see Dane DeHaan back, because I think he's oh, yeah. so great. In he's another actor, like, in the pre previous question, I would love yeah. to see more. Yeah. But, I mean, he's new, so it's understandable why he's yeah. not. In more films. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.